Hello, Christian friends. Do not be very excited that Muslims think that Jesus is going to return, too. Their Jesus is going to do some very different things than our Jesus, the real Jesus, is going to do. I think you're going to be quite surprised. Before I begin, I need to explain that there are two different factions within Islam. One is Sunni and the other is Shia. And they often disagree with each other on certain issues. So, not everything might pertain to the Sunni that I am presenting in this video. And not everything might pertain to the Shia that I present in this video. However, I will give the Muslim sources from what they consider their sacred holy books to document everything that I'm saying, and they can hash it out between themselves. But this is what their sources say. In their version of the end times, there are two central characters, so it's not just Jesus, it's the Mahdi and Jesus. So Jesus is his sidekick. According to the Islamic Hadiths, Jesus will descend from heaven and land near the Mahdi. The Mahdi will then ask Jesus to lead in prayer. Jesus will defer to the Mahdi, asking him to be the one to lead in prayer. Then Jesus will submissively follow behind the Mahdi, saying obligatory prayers. Jesus' next step is to deny that he ever claimed to be the Son of God, and then he will abolish Christianity. He will kill all pigs, and he will break all the crosses. You mean he's going to kill actual pigs, you know, animals that God created? Is he saying that God made a mistake by creating pigs? Or do you mean pigs as in certain races that you describe in your so-called holy books, people that you call pigs? It's so straighten me out here. Another thing he's going to do is to abolish the jizya tax. If you're not familiar with what that is, that is a tax that the Muslims ordered anyone that was not Muslim who wanted to live in their areas to guarantee their safety. So if you weren't Muslim, you had to pay this tax or they would hurt you. So now Jesus is going to abolish this tax. I just wonder, are they still charging this tax to this day? If you don't agree with their religion and you're living in their area? Oh, you know what? They probably still are because this prophecy says it's going to be abolished when Jesus comes back. So, you know, in order for the prophecy to be correct, I guess it's going to be charged up till the time Jesus returns. So, oh, and the reason these non-Muslims don't have to pay the tax anymore is because Jesus is going to kill them all. So he's going to kill off all the Christians and, and anyone who is not a Muslim. Then Jesus is going to kill the Antichrist. They call him the Tijal and all of his followers, which uh, they say are Jews. So Jesus is going to do that next. Then after all that, Jesus is going to finally settle down, get married, have children, live on earth for 40 years, and then he's going to die, and they're going to bury him next to Muhammad. And there you have it, folks. That's what Jesus is going to do when he returns. I have a question for all you Muslims out there. Why would God take Jesus to heaven, preserve him for over 2,000 years, only to have him come back on earth to only live 40 years and then die and be buried. Anyway, we Christians know that this is the biggest bunch of nonsense we've ever heard.